Slow now, whoa. I'd be proud to stick something else out. Yet more impertinences. Mark my word. I'll put it in my report. the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternising with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell the war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. See you. All right. Farewell. Private Kleiner. Attention! <sighs> Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Make an exception. That's the smart thing to do. Threats don't scare me. I've sworn to serve Redania till death do us part, and I'll keep my oath with a song of my lips. Careful, bugger means it. God, mother, Redania, truly Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. The afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vaclav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vaclav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! And shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. 
Vandenur and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've nae seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst would like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects sold to Madame Villepin. Dress of harky silk trimmed with amethyst beads. I have a starting price of 2,000 crowns. Seeking something in particular, sir? You need help with something. Beautiful, but first blow would shatter them. Hmm? Uh, yes? Ahem. <clears throat> Might I assist you? From the collection of the mage Aramis. Elf, half-elf, you're clearly no human. Elf, Egg, Half Elf, you're spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm, a giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Starting price of 2,000 crowns. Goblet of Fire. Wonder what it is. What brings you to me? What brings you to me? Step away. Authorized staff only. Step away. Authorized staff only. Abage egg, white gold. Lovely sculpture. Probably end up adorning somebody's garden. Get out! You thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on. You know damn well that makes no sense. Hey. Hey. Good to that day. won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quaint. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Oh, smell it, girl. Uh, That's the center coin. Oh, smell it, girl. That's the center coin. Huh. All so tall, you think the room was full of horses. Oh, 
Smell it, Geralt. That's the scent of coin. Hats off. Hats off. Is it my imagination, or does Baronet Lupin look a bit out of sorts today? You've not heard. His sawmill's gone up in smoke. Some knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose, they say. Hello. Hey! W w welcome. Good da -da day. I've not seen you before among the well healed. Your grey mane really does suit you. I've not seen you before among the well healed. I beg your pardon. Oh, I don't know you, and I don't wish to. I beg your pardon. No sign of poor Sodi. Perhaps he'll look in at intermission. Has he always been such a recluse? No. It began after his father passed. Apparently, he turned inward. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and the rest. We've an exceptional auction ahead, dear folk. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and the rest. I met a colleague of yours once. Berenbeer, I believe his name was. Are fork tails truly as dangerous as... <sighs> the Borsodi house is going to the dogs, by gods. Why would you say so? Look around, man. Look who he admits. A non-human, the nouveau riche, and there, there, a mutant. I met a colleague of yours once. Berenbeer, I believe his name was. Are fork tales truly as dangerous as folk contend? I met a colleague of yours once. Berenbeer, I believe his name was. Hang on. Hello there. Are you Geralt? Geralt of Rivia? I heard a bard sing your praises not long past. Should I buy it or not? Can't seem to make up my mind. Hang on! Hello there! I believe I'll bid on that Gorbet landscape. A landscape? You detest them. Ever true. But it's got a lovely frame. Sword. We both bid on it. That's right. At that auction, all the lots were from the estate of that family. Starts with an E. Arabek. Arabek. Oh, unimportant. I'd rather hear how that sword served you. Oh. Ah! Vivaldi, perusing the room for any and all to fleece. Uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes. Whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? 
No. I'm more interested in the culinary arts, too. Why stand near me, then? You ought to be hovering about the buffer. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical arse cunt. I've grown accustomed. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Gotta admit, haven't the foggiest. You needn't have said it. Your crude-looking mug, as you put it, radiates ignorance. I bid you adieu. The battle piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. Mm, the still life? Of course not. That's a long and deep. The palette, the brushwork. Obvious from a mile away. Adieu! Panorama of Novigrad, I'd say. <laughs> There's not a bumpkin who does not know Van der Nob never ventured outside Maribor. <laughs> Adieu. Mm. The pastoral scene, I think. Incorrect. But I suppose I might have expected your gaze to look homewards to the country. Adieu. <sighs> really? Merchant with the Pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's Becky. So, what did he tell you? Nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame not. To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh. Who'd a thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Funny. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Now that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? That would look splendid in the boudoir. Not 
now, Witcher. been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Frankly, don't find Gwent the least bit interesting. Oh, shame that. Good to see you again, Hilbert. <laughs> Time we were going. Uh, listen, if you decide to buy into that fun we discussed, you know where to find me. You call that interesting? The bloke's not scintillating in conversation, I'll grant you, but he's a right fiend at the card table. No matter. Maybe next time. By my reckoning, that Countess Mignol's just a mad old bat. Well, what's it you want? By my reckoning, that Countess Mignol's just a mad old bat. Seen right through me. Ha! I knowed it! You don't look like one who easily agrees to a draw. Frankly, I usually play my monsters. A witcher who plays monsters? Hmm, interesting. Crap guess. Scoyatel's my favorite. Right, right. A solid knock to your phone. Nothing like it, eh? Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Su. Perb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Sorry. Another time, maybe. Hmm. It is what it is. I'm off for a nosh. By the by, watch those little black balls. Strange them. Ah, to span the caviar of the Kaviri sturgeon. They're casting pearls before swine. Come, Geralt. Let's have a blather with another. That would look splendid in the boudoir. Well, what's it you want? By my reckoning, that Countess Mignol's just a mad old bat. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, seeing as I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this fee of sorts again. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin then a stink. So, what'll it be? Awfully resourceful of you, Vimmy. I'm impressed. Gotta refuse all the same. No offense. Then I make a fuss now. I'm a dwarf and a banker, so I've doubly thick skin. Good luck to you! Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. 10% of any winnings is yours. Any chance for 15? Don't push it, Vimmy. All right. Game on.
You're not at all bad, but it ain't enough to outplay me. That's so. How about a rematch? Apologies, mate, but I only ever play any bloke once. Var file, as them pointy ears say. Oh, hard luck, Geralt. Your cards, though. You find them in the crapper. Didn't line up, did they?
Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have. Or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the center coin. Vivaldi, perusing the room for any and all to fleece. about to play you no more. Ugh, ain't about to play you no more. These contemporaries, I simply don't understand their art. Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique, School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, afraid you'll have to finagle your coin out of someone else today. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Countess, forgive us. Time we were on our way. So soon? A great shame. Whatever the reason, I wish you luck on the path. We 
Where are you headed in such a rush? To the door. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Forgive me, Countess, but if there's no monster on the balcony, it's just not something I should bother with. A pity. But I understand. The Witcher's Code. Really? You're swine, you know? Finding an earring? What's that to you? Ah, oh, Vimy. The Countess didn't lose an earring. Her ears aren't even pierced. <gasps> That's right. So... What's she on about? Don't know, don't want to know. Don't need to get involved in yet another scheme. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Huh. All so tall. You think the room was full of horses? Perusing the room for any and all to fleece. You've my utmost respect, Master. You remind me of one I used to know. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me, I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. 
And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Like be Take your places, you please. Ah, I'd like to be alone. Long last. Mind. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Monster hunting doesn't pay all that well. Think I'll let you wealthy folk play. I'll wait in the back. Oh, Geralt, you and your sagging coin pouch. A financial advisor, that's what you need. Finances, that's actually what I'm lacking. Don't worry about me, go. I'll see if there's any caviar left. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Lot number one. 500 going twice, going thrice, sold! Do I see 300? Who will give me three? Ah, 300 from the monocled gentleman. I congratulate you on your successful acquisitions and invite you to partake of the refreshments during the intermission. So, how goes it, Garrett? Didn't I find it arksome, I hope? Of course I did. As always with sophisticated company. But it was about what I expected, so. Mm. If you think you can spot me a couple hundred. Of course, pal. And at a very favorable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, what to do you for a bit of daffer? Happy hunting to you! Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Vignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Good folk, is no one tempted? 
atypical in style, true, but worthy of the vestibule, surely. Do I hear ten crowns? A mere ten. Ah, at last, the buyer. Ten crowns, once, twice, and going thrice. Lot number two, starry night over the Ponta, sold to Master Yaramir. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes, at twenty. Do I hear thirty? Twenty going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose, starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, twenty crowns, it's practically naught. Thank you for the tip, Geralt. Yes, the Bank of Vivaldi bids twenty crowns. Going once, going twice. Oh, with a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at twenty. Do I hear thirty? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. Thirty from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see forty anyway? Thirty going once, going twice. Sold starry night over the Pontar by Van Roe to a proud new owner, the king of Novigrad financiers, Vimy Vivaldi. Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once, going twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60! The excitement! An advance on 60? 60 going once, 60 going twice. Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Rose, starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. <laughs> Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as... The Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. <clears throat> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once, 350 twice, and three, four. 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice, and sold! The Professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Incredible! With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice, sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Geralt, I hope that painting's no source of grief. Quite the opportunity, that. Mm-hmm. Couldn't pass it up. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look, horse Basudi. Come on, afford some other cocksuckers stealing. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. 
Scandalous. Hmm, that's plain to see. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point, now. Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. From Olgierd von Everek, name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Your swords, master. Just need you to sign here. F fuck you. Mm. Depositor refused to confirm receipt. Signed, Sergeant Figner. A pleasant day to you. Seems true what they say. When it's many against one, even a witcher's done. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Oh, come on! Wolfpop's got tea! Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. 
No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsoldi's house alone. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was of the option. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist? Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. We're seeing you. I hope. Take it easy. How can I be of service? Want to pay back my loan? Splendid! I see you as even more credit worthy than before. Till next time. Take it easy. Clear. 
lead into the woods. This little piggy ate raw and steaming human flesh. Come on, Roach. Verily, I say unto you, lecherous halfling, that open the door, you must. Fail to, and we'll torch your hook right thorough. So help us God, the fire eternal. What's this one want? A good bruising looks like. At him, brothers! <laughs> <laughs> Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Hey there. So long. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. 
We break in, each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Hmm. Ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. Looks bleak to me. Tower wall smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Hmm. Gotta give it some thought. I get that. Think it over. You know where to find me. Well, you've returned. What's this mean? Decided to join me after all? <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to call the bit. Too many wandering round, we could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. 
precisely why my favourite Eveline Gallo, a circus artist no better as Dio. Just now performing with a troop somewhere near Oxenford. Her speciality is rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the router troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. The perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town all in over that. So, the half man is in the Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently. Wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some little ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plan turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris. A prick mercy. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about calling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, you might say. Don't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Told you already, this ain't a two-man job. Well? Gave you names, locations, what are you waiting for? Told you already, this ain't a two-man job. <laughs> 